Hi guys, today I'm filming a book tag and it is a Christmas book tag. It's called the Wintertime Holiday Time book tag. This tag was created by my friend over at CC's Books, Cassandra, and she put up her video a couple days ago and I thought I should do this because it is almost Christmas. So there are 12 questions and I'm really excited to get into it because it's a really fun tag. And I also just want to tell you I'm going to be doing so many Christmas tags leading up to Christmas. I have four already that I'm going to be doing. So... Yeah, look forward to those. I'm sorry if you don't celebrate Christmas because I, I'm i obsessed and it's basically all I do, just talk about Christmas, so. Question number one. A big snowstorm hits. The power's out and you can't get to the bookstore. What book has been on your TBR forever? For this, I chose the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling. Basically, everyone's read this. Um, I have read the first four books and I really need to finish this series but I haven't, so it's really sad. I was going to this month, but I'm not, so... Anyway, yeah. Harry Potter series. Sorry. <laughs> Question 2. You have been struck in the heart by Elsa. What book do you choose to thaw your frozen heart? For this, I chose either The Lightning Thief or basically any Percy Jackson book ever. Um, except for, like, The Blood of Olympus. Uh, yeah, basically any Percy Jackson book. Or The Silver Chair by C.S. Lewis. This is one of my all-time favorite books. Um, I read it when I was younger, and I just, it's like crazy special to me. So, one of these two. Definitely. Question number three. Do you want to build a snowman? The question is, which character would you choose to build one with? For this, I chose either Maxon from the selection because I think that would just be so much fun to like get him to build a snowman because he'd probably be all like flustered and embarrassed and awkward and it'd be like incredible. Or um, Liam from The Darkest Minds because A, he's amazing and B, he's a blue so he can just like move the snow. I don't even have to get down in the snow and get all wet and no, he could just like make the snow move on its own and build a snowman without even touching the snow, so it's a, it's, yes, so, one of these two would be really, really fun. Question number four, it is time for the new year, what is your most anticipated book of 2015? For me, this is definitely, I have two, so, uh, definitely The Air by Kira Cass, ah, I am obsessed with this selection, and I was so excited when I found out that there's gonna be another book. I'm dying waiting for it, I am so excited as well as Illusionarium by Heather Dixon. She only wrote um, Entwined, which is also one of my all-time favorite books. She hasn't written anything since then, but she has a new book coming out next year called Illusionarium. Both of my most anticipated books come out in May, so it's and the RT Book Lovers Convention. I'm gonna have the best month of my life! <laughs> Can I just say yes? <laughs> All right, so question number five. This is a fun one. It is time to pick out a new calendar choose 12 characters you would like to see on it. So, I'm a girl. I'm gonna pick 12 guys, of course, so this is gonna be fun. Alright, first off, I'm going to choose Percy Jackson, of course, from the Percy Jackson series. He's my all-time favorite fictional character. Of course, he's going to be on my calendar, probably in March, because that's my birthday month. So, I'm also going to choose another character from this book, that is Luke Castellan. A lot of people don't like Luke, I adore him, and I would love to have him on my calendar. Also, Leo from the uh, the Heroes of Olympus series. Okay, Leo, just, oh, you're so amazing. Just love you. Just love you, Leo. All the ladies love Leo. Of course, Augustus from The Fault in Our Stars has to be on my calendar. I actually have a Fault in Our Stars calendar, so he is. Yes. Oh, Gus, I love you. And I'm also going to choose two characters from another series, and that is Peta, of course, from The Hunger Games. I adore him. Oh, I love Peta. And also Finnick, because I love Finnick too. So, two from that series as well. I'm also going to choose Four, or Tobias, from the Divergent trilogy. Liam, from The Darkest Minds. Oh, no, oh, I love him. <laughs> of course, Maxon from The Selection. I'm also going to choose Day, from the Legend trilogy. As well as Carswell Thorne from the Lunar Chronicles. He is just incredible, okay? And last, but certainly not least, I couldn't choose the last one, so I just decided on this. Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. I just really like Ron. I don't know why. I just 
I love him in the first, and then he gets a little annoying, but, I mean, I don't love him in, like, a romantic way, but I just, I love Ron, okay? I do. So, or Harry, either of them would be great. So, those are all my answers for that question. That took a long time. Okay, question number six. It's the holiday season. What book or books are you asking for for Christmas this year? Um, I'm just going to say a couple of them. I'm asking for In the Afterlight, of course, by Alexander Rackin. Um, I'm number four by Pitticus... <laughs> um, I'm number four by Pitticus Lore. Uh, Kristen McGee's other books. I have her Anomaly trilogy and I adore it. And I really want to read her other three books, her other trilogy. So, asking for those. And Atlanta by Ali Condi. So, those are just a couple of them as well as, like, you know, some money so I can go buy more books. So, question number seven is you want to cuddle up by the window and watch the snow fall. What book will you be reading? For this, I chose either Harry Potter because it's very, like, wintry, Christmassy kind of book. Or... Trapped by Ni Ugh. Trapped by Michael Northrop. Um, this book is about some kids who get stuck in their school because there is like this huge snowstorm. I don't know. It's really tiny, so I could probably read it in like one sitting. And it's just it's a it's a snow book. Okay, so I haven't read it yet, but I've had it for a long time, so I need to. Okay, now question number eight is you want to cuddle up near the fire. What hot slash popular book that has been on your TBR would you be reading? Again, I'm going to say Harry Potter, because I need to finish that series, or Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, because I have the first two now, and I still haven't read them, and I've heard so many, so many good things about these, and I'm just really excited, but I'm just not in the mood for it right now, so, but I probably would also like to read this. Okay, so question number eight is, <laughs> question number nine is, in 2014, what has been your favorite book to movie adaptation? Uh, definitely The Fault in Our Stars. My camera's actually sitting on it right now. It's like sort of like this temporary tripod. So yeah, it's sitting on it right now, so I can't show you my DVD. But for me, that movie was just like watching the book on the screen. And I just absolutely adored it. I really love Catching Fire, too. That was 2013. But I mean, overall, no. The Fault in Our Stars is probably my favorite book to movie adaptation ever. <laughs> Question number 10. It's the new year. What is the first book you are going to start reading? Probably in the afterlife by Alexander Bracken because I'm currently reading the darkest minds and I'm trying to finish never fade before Christmas and then finish in the afterlight Before next year, but I probably won't be able to so I'll probably be reading in the afterlight next year question number 11 It's the end of the year pick your top five books you read in 2014 I'm going to cheat a little bit on this one and count trilogies as one which kind of you know, it's okay. First would be the Anomaly Trilogy by Krista McGee. I absolutely adore it. I really need to read it again. I've only read it all once, so I need to read it again because it's just incredible. Alright, yes, that one. Also, the Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Meyer. I read this year and I love the first one. I only get four stars, but the other two, oh my gosh, they are amazing. <laughs> so, definitely one of my top five. Also, The Fault in Our Stars I read this year and... Love, love, love. I have a love-hate relationship with it, so it's like, I don't know, but I get five stars, so. The One by Kira Cass, which is the final book in the Selection Trilogy, not really, but kind of, but not really, uh, came out this year in May, and I loved it so much. Definitely one of my top five favorites. It's amazing. I love this trilogy. It's so good. And last, but definitely not least, this is a book that I haven't even finished yet, but it doesn't matter. It's... Yes, so The Darkest Minds by Alexander Bracken. Um, I didn't want to wait forever to film this tag, so I haven't actually finished it yet. I'm um, like halfway done. I'm on page 267, and it is, it is, it is, it is, there are no words for how much I love it, and ah, uh, just so good. So, um, this is going to be one of the top five. I haven't even finished it yet, if that says how good it is. I've only read half and I already know that it's going to be one of my top five. Oh, it's so good. It's I can't even breathe. The final question, number 12, is it's time to pass the present. Who do you tag? I am going to tag everybody watching this video. If you're watching it, you're tagged. Tag you. And I'm going to be doing a lot of tags, so I don't know if I'm going to tag anyone like, in specific in any of these but we'll see so um yeah thank you again for uh to cassandra for tagging me this was so much fun i love this tag 
and all of you should definitely do it because it's really awesome. I'll have the questions in the description box if you want to go look there and answer them in your video. So definitely do this tag, it was really good, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!